You are about to enter your last two classes for your Masters of Ed in the University of the People or maybe in a different institution and you need ideas for Capstone. You'll Google it, right? And a lot of resources will pop up. Hundreds and thousands of ideas will pop up. Let me help you. But first, a drink. I know in some countries this product is illegal. I understand that. My name is Yale Bass. I am a former educator. I graduated from the University of the People in 2022 um, with my Master's of Education and I write curriculum at the moment. I teach Spanish online and I'm an expecting mother. So let me give you a step-by-step -step process on brainstorming and finalizing a capstone idea. Okay, step one, <laughs> choose five categories related to education. So let me give you some examples. Classroom management, instructional strategies, systemic problems in American education, culturally relevant teaching or CRT, LGBTQ and education, which is becoming very popular, college readiness, teacher well-being, technology and education, virtual versus in-person teaching, safety in schools and its impact on test scores. That might be a good one if you're in the United States. Literacy in high school education, etc. If you like, come up with more categories related to education that are more relevant to your everyday practice. Step two, narrow down the categories that you chose to three categories. So eliminate two that are your least interested ones. Step three, come up with two to four general questions related to the topic. You will be asked to ask you will be asked to ask a qualitative and quantitative question, but you don't have to worry about that. Just come up with two to four curiosities of the category. So for example, if my friend Pachita, who is doing her capstone, let's say uh, she has, she narrowed down her topics or her categories. So she's thinking of doing CRT, college readiness, or safety in schools. So she narrowed it down to three. What she's gonna do is she's gonna create questions for each one, right? So let's say, for example, CRT. She, that was one of her options. Is CRT actually increasing unity in our schools or is it divisive? What are current CRT practices in American schools? Con imagining that she's in the United States. What are the pros and, the co and cons of CRT in schools? And is CRT developing in other countries? How is it harming or benefiting them? They're just things that she's curious about. Step four, sir, and this is probably the most important step. It is to search for data related to each of the categories that you narrow down. Utilize the databases that U of People provides and they have a few for free. If your institution has databases available, which usually they do, use them. Don't just go to Google and start Googling things uh, because you will be graded based on the quality of the sources. You want to ask yourself, is there sufficient research available for this category, for this topic? Is there at least seven sources that you can rely on is there quantitative and qualitative data available? And remember, quantitative is any data that is measurable, and qualitative data is anything that isn't measurable, like an interview, for, exa for example. Step five, discover if you can collect your own data. Would you be able to survey or interview individuals regarding this topic? Step six, eliminate two of the topics um, that you chose after formulating all these all those questions eliminate two the ones that have the least amount of data usually you want to eliminate those because it's just going to be so much harder to do your capstone without reliable data if you can't decide ask your professor for help but make sure that you do it ahead of time not last minute
Examples of capstone ideas for education. Does higher education actually increase one's economy in our modern society? Higher education versus vocational careers. Compare different models of education across various countries or within one country. How do our individual backgrounds, traumas, and personal values influence our teaching? If you would like a written step-by-step -step of what was said in this video, just hit me up um, via email. I'll put my email in the description box. Just make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, um, do what you can um, because all of that kind of helps grow the channel and such. But I am happy to send that over. If you have some time left over, make sure to watch the video on applied research paper, what that actually looks like, and diploma opening um, after I graduated from the University of the People. And that concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching.